Good morning, and thank you for coming. I have a quick question for you. Does the term couch potato sound familiar? In today's quick and easy world of fast food convenience, it's easy to become sedentary in life. Well, whether you consider yourself to be a red potato, a russet, maybe a fingerling, or maybe some of you like purple potatoes, how do we avoid becoming one of the 60 million people in America who are considered overweight or obese? Well, the U.S. Surgeon General of 2003, Richard Carmona, said this. He was testifying before a Senate subcommittee. He said that two out of every three Americans is overweight or obese. He also said that consistent daily exercise can help with the immediate health costs and benefit, but it can also help reduce the long-term cost to our health and our health care system. Well, there's three things that we're going to look at here quickly. It's how the weight affects our mental and physical health how the future costs are just staggering and continuing to build, but also how the small changes today can have a great effect tomorrow uh, on our health future. So in, three, in 300,000 Americans each year die from illnesses related to being overweight or obese. This is from an article, a bulletin published by the American College um, of Surgeons. The Mayo Clinic published a, an article in uh, October 2010 that said that sleep apnea Anxiety, stress, and depression are on the rise. Tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of Americans each year are subject to these things. But they also said that a little bit of exercise can help release um, endorphins in our brain and increase neurotransmitters, which help to decrease the effects of depression. It also reduces chemicals in our immune system that actually make uh, depression worse. That other same article said that by exercising, we gain confidence. We become more self-assured. We feel better about ourselves and about our circumstances and situations, which helps us have a healthier mental life. Well, by being healthier, we can help reduce the cost of the financial burden to our healthcare system. In the year 2000, $117 billion were spent on health-related costs. This is from the um, World and National uh, Health um, Accounts, which are part of the World Health Organization, and they track worldwide costs Healthcare. They also said that $47.5 billion was spent on obesity related health issues in America alone. And that's a lot of money to be spending. But what can we do to reduce these costs? Well, Benjamin Franklin had an idea. He says an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And in health, this is one area where this is very true. Well, if we begin establishing healthy habits for our children while they're still young, helping them to choose good amounts, the right amounts to eat, giving them good healthy snacks between meals, setting up consistent times each day where they eat. Um, we can help them establish good practices to give them a healthy, healthy future. There's a phrase that we know of today, it's called eating the rainbow, providing good, healthy, colorful foods that are enjoyable and good for them to eat now can help them have these good practices for them and their children in their future. So we know that 30 minutes of exercise, and by reducing our calorie intake every day, we can dramatically lessen the effect and the possibility of cardiovascular disease in the future. And this is from Siegel, who's uh, from the Department of Pediatrics at the Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York. And just 30 minutes a day can make a huge difference in a lifetime. 30 minutes of exercise every day can positively affect our mental and physical health. It can reduce the cost to our healthcare system and it can help the future generations to come to live a healthier life. Um, we've seen that obesity, just in this short time, we've seen that obesity affects us mentally and physically. It places huge financial burdens on our own families as well as the future, the, the financial healthcare system in America today. But we've also seen how just a little bit of time every day can help us live happier, healthier lives. Well, here's what I ask you to do. In order to reduce and possibly eliminate some of the mental, physical and monetary costs to our health and our health care system, I'm going to ask you to consider the consequences of your actions for yourselves and your children, to take this as a challenge, to get up today and exercise, begin today, to walk, to play with your children, not only for your health's sake, but for your children as well.